if a man is, does in fact, is in fact found to have an elevated PSA, um, the next step is frequently a prostate biopsy. Now these are usually done in the office that take about five or ten minutes to perform. Um, the patient is awake, conversing with the physician throughout the entirety of the process, so there's always conversation about how the patient's doing in regards to discomfort, etc. Generally, um, it's relatively well tolerated. Now, in the past, um, it could be quite uncomfortable for a patient, but there have been some subtle changes that have occurred over the course of the last 20 years. Fortunately, the technology has been better. We usually use an ultrasound probe uh, to visualize the prostate gland. Uh, these ultrasound probes have become smaller, more compact, easier for the patient to tolerate. Uh, in addition, um, we generally use um, local anesthesia uh, to actually deaden the area around the prostate gland um, so that truly these days they're relatively well tolerated. Um, patients may have a little bit of discomfort um, for um, a short period of time thereafter but certainly is able to go to work and have normal activities uh, later on that day or the next day.